Hello. Uh, I wanted to uh, show you a little bit about taking a, a oil sample for your uh, vehicle to send off to the lab. If you want uh, a little bit of information about it, you can uh, go to Bobby's the Oil Guy. And there's a forum there, and uh, uh, people heavily uh, discuss it. And there's this uh, place called Blackstone Lab. It's one of their bottles. And that's probably the uh, easiest place for a consumer to send off a sample. But uh, this is the jar it comes in. You take the lid off, and there's a plastic bottle that comes inside it. Along with uh, some absorbent material. And it's a plastic bag in case it leaks. And this is the uh, little bottle that comes in. It. This one's already filled up. But... Uh, what you do with that is, I have a little pump here. I keep it in a bag so it stays clean. And the plastic bottle will thread onto here. And there's a fitting right here for a hose to go into. And you just pull the handle back and it sucks the fluid in. It draws it in through this fitting into the jar. And when the jar gets almost full, you just, you just crack this loose a little bit with your finger. And, and the uh, fluid will go back through the, the tubing. This is the tubing. It's very special. Some kind of special size. It's very rigid. And you cut a piece off. The, you measure your dipstick and add about 6 to 8, 10 inches to it. That, that way you can push it down uh, below where the dipstick rides. And the best time to take a sample is when it's at operating temperature. But uh, to do with this, you put your uh, bottle in the plastic baggie, wrap it up with the absorbent material, like such. Then you stick it in, in the uh, in the jar. There's also a piece of paper to fill out. It's the information about your car and how long you use the sample. And then you just seal that up and mail it. If the uh, people at the post office give you any any hardship, you, you just tell them that, that it complies with the regulations by using the uh, absorbent material and the uh, plastic baggie to prevent leaks. It's uh, considered non-hazardous material. And uh, in two to three days, you should get uh, an email back from the company with your report. And sometimes, sometimes they mail it out to you with a hard copy. But I just wanted to uh, show you how to do a sample. Uh, it's very important that you keep it clean. And that's about all there is to it. Thanks for watching.